Let's speak about the marks on the cards. Um, there are six different types of marks on individual cards and they represent uh, the source of the mark which is gained either by the character, mostly by the character or the card itself. So uh, let's go through them and let's, uh, let's speak about them. The first type of marks is the strife mark which is signaled uh, uh, by a star on the card itself. Um, it is uh, a, ca a card mark which provides the uh, mostly the fleet or the character with another plus two into any attacks. So if uh, Jakar is being attacked or is attacking somebody, he gains plus two every, in every attack per mark, per strife mark he has. So if it would be a diplomacy attack, he would not only uh, attack with diplomacy of five, but with diplomacy of seven. So this is the first type of marks. The second type of marks is uh, the destiny mark. For example, here on Delenn, the uh, blue triangle. Uh, it represents, I suppose, the trail luminary. Um, this type of marks uh, get, give the characters um, rather an advantage, let's say, in the game. Uh, they can increase their abilities. If there is a, any cards which boost their abilities, is uh, is uh, referring to destiny marks. Um, they can also uh, gain. Uh, mm, there are some agendas who play with destiny marks, so you, if you have enough of those, you can win the game, and so on and so on. So those are like uh, favors of the universe or of the fate of the characters, which are signaled by those. The second type of mark, which is kind of antagonistic to those uh, destiny marks, is doom mark, represented by this hand, uh, hand of fire, uh, uh, which Londo seen in his vision. Uh, or which was prophesied by the El by Elric Technomages, uh, Technomage uh, to Londo. Um, it's, um, it signals that this uh, character, or, or mostly character, um, has kind of a doomed prophecy and there is a kind of a doom uh, signal about him or her. Uh, they can also boost the different um, uh, abilities of those characters, mostly the intrigue uh, strategies working with those. Um, they can also um, give them some uh, uh, provide them with some risky actions and uh, you gain them if you do really something reckless but very very powerful so it's a kind of a um, price you pay for for not very nice actions in the game uh, and you you have those um, then there are two marks which represent the uh, taint uh, towards uh, one of the two big first ones races and those are the volons which are designed or which are represented by the Volon mark here. Um, and there is also the antagonistic one to that is the shadow shadow mark, which is which is on, for example, on William Morgan Clock here. Um, those two are uh, represent they, they you don't you cannot have both of them in your faction unless a card says so. Um, and uh, um, a faction which has uh, Volon marks um, is kind of Volon tainted and uh, can use cards which require volon marks uh, in play. Um, if you have a shadow mark, uh, you can use cards which require a certain number of uh, uh, shadow marks in play. So uh, those kind of stack on your cards or your characters and uh, there are cards which require a certain amount of those in the game or in your faction and then you can play those cards. So it kind of gives you a power to tap into the into the might of the first ones. So the more you have, the more powerful the cards you can play uh, really are. So these are the two. And the last type of, of the of the marks is the conspiracy mark, which is designed, which is here. Uh, this little sign symbol, uh, the brown one, and it uh, is playable within uh, mostly within the uh, Cycorps um, Cycorps uh, faction. Um, there are special rules about that, I won't go into much detail, but as many cards you have, as many Psycorp cards you can really play in, uh, in the game. So you will need those to actually play some more powerful Psycorp cards if you want to. So this is it. Those were the marks uh, which I use in the game.